Good morning, Shindo here. Now, I have been watching North Korea for some time now and been uh, putting up videos about North Korea several times. North Korea is a very real threat. We always look at it as being a threat to the United States of America. Now, I don't think North Korea is ever going to do anything against the United States of America. It is, however, going to do something against one of our closest allies, and that is South Korea. Now, what most people don't seem to realize is that the Koreans don't look at themselves as North Koreans or South Koreans and uniting the Korea under one flag is what any Korean leader either North or South Korea would love to do. What we have in this new dictator Kim Jong-un is a young man who is trying to make his own name in the world. They have been developing missiles over the past couple of years and I found that people are not taking them seriously because every now and then their missiles misfire. They only go up a few feet and then blow up. Well the same thing happened here in the United States folks when they were developing missiles for rockets, for NASA, for uh, ICBMs, for nuclear, n nuclear missiles, which is of course what they're developing in North Korea. So if they misfire, it's not necessarily a bad thing for them as long as they learn from it. This is the way people learn, trial and error. So when you see that they're misfiring and they and the people on the news basically laugh at North Korea, that's a very foolish way of looking at it. So I have this article here from NPR and it's called North Korea quote very far along in developing new ballistic missiles they are a real threat to our closest ally one of our closest allies certainly in the region one of our closest allies and that is South Korea North Korea got 2017 off to a menacing start in his New Year's address Supreme Leader Kim Jong-un warned that the nation was in the quote final stage of preparation to test an intercontinental ballistic missile. A day later, President-elect Donald Trump said North Korea would never develop a nuclear weapon capable of striking the U.S. Quote, it won't happen, Trump tweeted. I don't necessarily disagree with Trump on this one. But hitting the United States is not our problem. You understand that we have an alliance with South Korea. What are we going to do, just shrug our shoulders? if North Korea fires a ballistic missile at South Korea, a nuclear weapon? Bombast aside, independent arms control experts agree that North Korea is moving rapidly to develop an ICBM, and many suspect it will test a missile capable of reaching the continental U.S. later this year. Quote, they are very far along in their ICBM testing project, unquote, says Melissa Hanham, an East Asia researcher in Middleby Institute of International Studies at Monterey. Quote, probably we will see that they will do a flight test in 2017, unquote. I'm not sure, you know, I guess it's just natural, but I'm not sure why Okay, if, if they're that far along in making an ICBM, why is it that we're not discussing the 
idea that they might fire one at their neighbor, South Korea. That would be only logical to me. Not to mention, and I have had videos, I've been doing videos on this for some time, the people who do this remote viewing and who have been doing it for years where they can remote view, sort of walk in their mind into the future. Yes, I said that, the future. They predicted that North Korea would have a nuclear weapon long before North Korea did, back when people were laughing at the idea that they could even develop a nuclear weapon. But they also saw at one point that North Korea would fire a nuclear weapon on South Korea. That At, at this point now, that doesn't seem so far-fetched, does it? Especially with this leader. This, this boy man is really about as crazy as they come and he comes from a really crazy family. If you look into the history of the leaders of North Korea, these people kidnapped movie stars, brought them over to North Korea, forced them to uh, make movies. I mean, they're nuts. If the tests were successful, a big if, North Korea would join a small club of nations with ICB ICBMs, including superpowers like U.S., Russia, and China. Why aren't we talking about them developing a missile just to strike South Korea? North Korea is notoriously closed society, but the government peri periodically releases images and videos of its missiles. Analysts pour over the scant material and use it to cobble together a mosaic of North of North's weapons programs. Those reports, combined with public statements by officials in South Korea and the U.S., provide some sense of the North's progress. And there was a lot of progress in 2016, Hanham said. Quote, there were so many tests, I need crib notes, unquote. I can remember early part of 2016 hearing someone on the radio discussing North Korea's test and how it failed, and it seemed like they were almost laughing at North Korea. This is a very foolish perspective, folks. No, I don't believe North Korea is going to fire an ICBM at the United States. I don't think it's going to happen. I agree with Donald Trump. But South Korea, yes, I don't only believe it. I believe it's going to happen fairly soon. And the idea of one country hitting another country with a nuclear weapon, regardless of how far away it is, should frighten you. And there was a lot of progress in 2016, Hanem said. There were so many tests, I need crib notes. North Korea tested a new rocket engine based on Soviet design that is more powerful than anything it has used before. It also tested a heat shield of the type needed to protect nuclear warhead as it re-enters Earth's atmosphere. In June, it successfully fired a new Musadon missile. The Musadon's range of 2,500 miles is short of what is needed to reach the U.S., but it appears to use some technology that would probably go into a larger ICBM. That IC ICBM has yet to be tested. Known to analysts as the KN-08 or KN-14, quote, one of the challenges with North Korean missiles is that they don't tell us what they're called, unquote, says Hanham. In first appeared in military parade in 2012. Back then, the missile was so clugged together it looked to some experts like it could be a decoy. But in, in years since, photos of the ICBM showed features that suggest it is becoming a real weapon. The missile began as a clunky three-stage design, said David Wright 
a rocketry expert at the Union of Concerned Scientists. It has since been redesigned as a simpler two-stage affair. With the new engines tested this year, it would have a range of 7,500 miles, Wright said. Quote, that would start to bring things like Washington, D.C. into range, unquote. Can Trump stop the test? Neither Hannum nor Wright thinks they are easy solutions available to the president-elect. Attacking the missile before it's launched would be an act of war. If the ICBM is tested to the south, as happened with North Korea's space launches, then it would be out of range of the main U.S. Milit missile defense system based in Alaska. Smaller ship-based interceptors are also unlikely to be able to shoot it down, Wright said. You can't shoot down a missile. <laughs> that leaves diplomacy, says Hanum. But Kim Jong Un has shown little willingness to negotiate. Quote, there are no good options, really, Hanum said. That's why previous administrations have struggled with it so for so long. Unquote. A flight test will not mean that North Korea can conduct a nuclear strike on U.S. soil. For one thing, the North's track record in testing new missiles is pretty bad, says Wright. He estimates the odds of the new ICBM will work are, quote, probably less than 50 percent, unquote. And while the individual components may all be there, they still need to be combined into a single weapon, he adds. Many analysts believe that, North, that the North has miniaturized its nuclear bomb, but Wright says it's less clear whether North Korea's Korean nuke could survive the G-forces of a missile launch. Similarly, its re-entry system for bringing the weapon back to Earth could be highly inaccurate in its current design. Perfecting ISBM is a weapon may take several more years. Still, Hannah believes that 2017 may be a watershed year for the North. Even an unsuccessful ICBM test would send a clear message, quote, this is going to be really scary she says, not just for the region, but for the American public, unquote. Well, if you want my opinion, and that's why I do my videos, the, by the way, if you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel. If you want my opinion, they need to be more concerned about them firing a weapon at South Korea. If they're this far along, it means that they've probably developed a a uh, nuclear device that can fit inside of a missile, which is the big uh, hurdle that they have to to get over. Now, at this point, they have developed a nuclear weapon, but for now, they can't put it into a missile. That's what I remember them talking about a couple of years ago. So I would think that the concern here would be whether they could just develop a missile that's just going to travel a couple hundred miles to the south. That's what I would be concerned with. But what do I know? You know, what do I know? Seems like everybody that's supposed to be our leaders doesn't know jack shit, quite frankly. But what do I know? This is Shindo. Have a good Saturday.